Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a steward at Northwest. Today we're at property address 16157 Southwest 3rd Street here in Sherwood. We're located in the basement. We're probably going to go through two different cleanouts. This is uh, the interior 4 inch cast iron cleanout. And check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water running. So we're going to pass from the right side of the house all the way to the left side, and then the line's going to go out the back. So we'll move to an exterior cleanout once we're done under the floor here. All right, here's 66 feet, 6 inches. That's kind of unlucky. Uh, we're gonna, the camera can't go any further than this here. Uh, so we're going to reel, reel on out and then move to the external cleanout. I think the external cleanout on the house is actually just up ahead of the camera here. All right, let the line drain out here for a couple minutes. It's as drained out as it's going to get. Those little stringy items you see there in the bottom of the pipe, kind of hard to see, but those are, uh, it's like dental floss or a tampon string or something like that. That's not roots. Looks like we have a little paper towel there kind of caught up in the line.
All right, so here in this part of the line, I figured we'd see some standing water coming back through here. Uh, what, what's difficult to discern sometimes in old cast iron like this is cast iron can wear out. Uh, the bottom of the pipe can actually wear out completely and open up into the ground. And what may, what's tricky in situations like this, you can see how the camera's kind of riding up on the wall there and then it just drops in. Um, what's hard to tell is if the line has settled there and it's a belly or if the bottom of the pipe is wearing thin and you've got kind of a trough there now due to that fact. Now, it looks like the pipe there is still, it looks like it's intact. It's just, it's one of those that it, I, I've seen in my career uh, cast iron pipe wear out on the bottom. Um, and it kind of looks similar to this, but it's also one of those things that can be a belly. Uh, you don't have this kind of issue generally with plastic pipe or anything like that. Um, concrete can do a similar thing where the, the, the pipe just starts wearing, wearing thin, and in that thinned out area you get standing water. And if it is thinning out here, uh, at some point the, the pipe can wear out and you're going to get water under your floor. It's just a, it's a very difficult thing to actually discern until the, the pipe actually wears through because you just can't see it. it. You can see here, it almost looks like there is a ledge up on the side of the pipe where it possibly is worn down in the line there. So anyway, I would recommend um, submitting the video to a plumber and possibly get just a second set of eyes on it. It's, it's, it. It does look like it's wearing out here, but it's also a spot where you could have settling that's occurred and that's, that could explain the standing water here. The pipe is bellied out. You know, one of those two things is, is going on. And, and running across here, it feels smooth. It looks like I can still see the bottom of the pipe down there. So it does not look like it's worn through. It just it looks like it, uh, it, it, there's a good chance it is wearing thin there. It's, a, it's difficult to discern that. I had to pull back while the camera was paused there even further uh, to get to be able to locate right on top of the camera head. Um, so down the basement area, you've got a bathroom on either side. If you're looking at the front of the house from the street, uh, we're at the left side of the home. And right here where the, where the line does this belly or, or where it's wearing out, this is right underneath the bathroom vanity on the left side of the house down in the basement. Uh, and it's really difficult to tell if it's riding up underneath the wall that is the essentially the back where the mirror is hanging. That, that pipe is running side to side underneath the, uh, the vanity down there. So it's difficult to tell whether it's going under the wall there or just inside the wall on the bathroom side. It's, it's just a difficult spot to locate because it goes under the vanity where I can't really get a uh, the locating wand in. So... I'll try and locate right here. I do have blue painter's tape uh, that's that's going the direction with the line where it runs. Uh, that's and I have that marked just before where that that belly or that worn out uh, portion of the line is at. All right, and the uh, little trough here, we'll call it belly or worn out pipe, ends just so this this section of pipe here spans the essentially the exact width of the vanity in that bathroom. It starts and stops at, at each side of it. So anyway, there's there's blue tape on either side of the vanity showing where, especially the, the, the arrow I have there, that's about as close as I can get to being on top of the line. Again, I cannot tell if it's in, if the pipe is running under the wall or just inside of it. Uh, but I would recommend having a plumber take a look at that. The, the only other thing you can do sometimes is do a hydrojet and try and clean. Sometimes you can get a little bit of grease and debris building up over time on an old house like this. Um, and it could just be, you know, there's kind of a, a trough worn in that stuff. So it's sometimes jetting the line can give you a better picture. It's like right here you can tell that we've got a little bit of debris that's kind of built up on the side walls. Uh, there's no standing water here though, so a little bit different. This is another area here where we have some build up and some standing water. This one doesn't have the same look that the other pipe does where there's almost like a ledge to it. Uh, we do have some debris that's collected here. I, I would recommend jetting this line out and starting up the clean out I'm in right now. Uh, there's enough debris inside the line there. There's a couple paper towels or rags or something caught through in the line. So I'd recommend getting it jetted. And after the jet's done, always have the guys do a rescope just to show you that everything's been cleaned out of there. And 
And we're getting close to pulling out of the clean out here and we'll, we'll move to the uh, other point of access on the outside of the house. So my, my uh, two concerns here are from 40 to 44 feet. Uh, it's either a belly or the pipe is, is wearing out there in, in the bottom. It's again, very difficult to, to discern that. Um, you can, the, I think the line needs to be hydro jetted anyway. There's a, again, two rags or, or something like that caught up in the pipe there that don't appear to be going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, so I get that cleaned out of there. And then just ahead of the camera, about 10 feet, there's a section of pipe there that's uh, got quite a bit of grease to build up on it. So I would jet the line and rescope it. That hopefully will give you a better picture of that, that little trough area there. Uh, it is a spot I'm concerned about that the pipe could be wearing thin there. Apart from that, the rest of the line there is looking good and functioning at this time. Now on the outside of the house here, now here's our clean out. We're just oh probably about three feet away from the house. Here's our clean out. There's the home, and I, my camera stopped right about where that cap was at. So anyway, we're gonna continue on here. Now we're gonna call this. We're gonna I'm gonna write the report and talk about it as if I've started the whole thing from one point of access. Otherwise, it can get a little confusing on lengths and stuff. So we'll zero out right here. This is essentially 60, we'll call it 67 feet out from the first clean out and continue on here. And it looks like it transitions here over to PVC pipe right upon access. Still looks like four inch pipe. And right here at, so this is 93 feet from this point of access, so around 150, oh, 153 ish feet out at this point here. And, and the line did not seem to deviate at all. It pretty much does a dead straight shot straight down the, the yard here or the backyard through the, uh, the tree line. So where it terminates is beyond, obviously about 100 feet out from this clean out here. So uh, there's likely some kind of contract for an easement or something of that nature. I'm gonna let the line drain out here for a couple minutes before pulling back. I always think it's a good idea whenever you have a line like this that doesn't just go straight out to the road but uh, appears to be using some kind of easement to get where it's going, uh, I recommend just looking into the contract or contacting the city to find out where your responsibility starts and stops with this. Sometimes you are responsible all the way out to where it terminates and other times you're you're only responsible to like let's like sometimes right here where, or where it transitions over to PVC pipe, something like that. So it's worth looking into that. And there's a couple tie-ins on the way out there. Most likely those are secondary cleanouts. 
um, it's possible that you could have another line from a home tying in too. So it's just worth looking into. Uh, from this uh, clean out on out, we've had good flow all the way out to the terminus there. The ABS and PVC portions of the line are both in good condition. The sewer line is functioning properly at this time um, from this clean out out to the terminus at about 90, or in total about 155 feet out. Um, overall, the line is functioning at this time. The interior pipe I'm more concerned about, again, we have that section of pipe under the vanity in the basement that looks like it may be wearing out. Um, if it's not, it's not a terribly bad belly. Uh, but my concern is the pipe's about to wear through there. Uh, and then we do have some, some uh, grease and debris caught throughout the line. So I recommend jetting the sewer line from the clean out inside the basement, uh, jetting all the pipe under the, underneath the basement floor and then re-scoping. And hopefully that will give you a better look at the pipe under the floor there. Once you can get all the debris out of there, then you know what's pipe and what is not. Now I'm going to go and roll the camera on out. Recommend re-scoping after any repair work is done to ensure it was done properly. And, and obviously have the drain cleaning guys re-scope after they're done drain cleaning and you can get a look at the line at that point.